the building. I'm closing the building. Go okay, ahead. that's fine. You okay, can close you can leave now. You okay. can leave now. Relax. Sir, no. I'm sir, leaving. leave. You have to leave. So this is public property. You cannot property. record on state property, DLC property. That's the what thing. law is that? It's not a law. It's a policy. Do I have any paperwork? Yep. Other than the United States Constitution. That doesn't apply here for this. We have our policy here. Take a step well, back, please. No, I'm, I'm in my building. I'm asking you well, you're for in your our credentials. Building. But I'm asking you for your credentials. I know. So if I decide to remove you from the building, then what? Well, if you physically put your hands on me and remove me from the building, mm -hmm. that would be a crime. Make a sign that says no but it's our black building. people allowed in a building, no so white people allowed. Now. Is that what you're saying? No, I said you, you could. Said you said about being black people, you're being I, racist. That's I'm saying, saying tyrants come in all shapes, you, colors, yes. and you're sizes. Very tired because once again, you have no sensitivity. Please take your hands out of your pocket. Sir, there's nothing in my pocket. I don't know what's in your pocket. Okay, it's, there's nothing, there's no. Then, then take your hands out of your pocket. No, I don't know what's in the bottom of it. it could um, be a sir, you're, you're being a tyrant. No, you have no business being here because, again, this is private property. It's, it's not private permission. property. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the probation department here in Newcastle, Delaware. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. We have our friendly reminder that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we the people record the government. Okay. You can't record on DOC property, you have to step outside. Excuse me, sir? You cannot record on DOC property, you have to step outside. Who are you, sir? Officer Powell. Officer Powell? And, and, you to step outside. and what law would that be? It's a DOC private property, you cannot record. This is private property? Who owns property. it? Who owns the property, sir? Sir, you have to leave. This isn't private property, sir. Sir, you have to leave. This is public property, sir. So you have to leave. So this is public property. You cannot property. record on state property, DOC property. That's the what thing. law is that? It's not a law. It's a policy. You cannot record. It's a policy. Yes, sir. You can step outside and record. You just cannot record inside the building. Well, this is still a public building, public property. It's oh, publicly it's accessible. A, it's a correctional institution, which is a secure facility. Okay. There's nothing secure about it. We just I just walked right in. No, no. Honestly. There's secure areas in this building, of course, sure. And I don't plan on going into any of those secure areas, sir. But you sir. cannot record in the building. Itself. But that's not a law, sir. Respectfully, that's not a law. That's just a policy, sir. Name? Oh, my name is Sean, sir. Sean what? Just Sean. Just Sean? Just Sean. Very nice, Sean. Yep, no problem. Hey, how are you? How are you guys doing? I'm good. What's up? You mind if I get your name? My name's Supervisor McCarran. And my name is Sean, sir. And your name, sir? I'm Supervisor Dowling. Supervisor Dowling. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you guys. And what's your business here today? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video. I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story on the gotcha. Department of Corrections here. Gotcha. Do you have any kind of paperwork saying you could be on the property for doing that? Do I have any paperwork? Yep. Other than the United States Constitution. That doesn't apply here for this. We have our policy here. So I would like you to... The United States yourself. Constitution doesn't apply no, no, here? No, no, no. What you're trying to do does not apply to this. You cannot record here. We have a policy that says you cannot record in our building. And Simple that policy that. trumps the United States Constitution of Freedom of Press? Anything. Our policy for this building, you're not allowed to be here. And this building recording where you say you can't. So I'm going to ask you to remove yourself from the building, please. And you are Sir, I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not, you know, you're talking about your policy. I'm not breaking any laws. If you'd like, you can call law enforcement. It's our policy. If you'd like, you can call law enforcement so they can explain to you the laws. You can remove yourself. But that's not against the law, sir. No, no, no. You're the same guy that was at the jail at Where? The women's prison. Oh, no, I never went there before. No, never. This is the first time I've been to a Delaware correctional facility here. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I wasn't there. Other than videotaping, you have no business. Well, yeah, I want to do a Freedom of Information Act request, but I'm just taking some picture and video right now, but I'll get to the Freedom of Information Act request when I get to it. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the signage here. Again, this is not a secure area I'm in or anything like that. Oh, I understand that it's state property, definitely funded by taxpayers. I understand that. I get it. It's just I'm not in any secure or restricted areas, and your policy your policy doesn't apply to me. I'm not. I don't work here. <laughs> Respectfully, I don't work here. I'm not bound by your policies. I'm bound by the law and the United States Constitution, which you said doesn't apply here for some reason. 
your particular words, but well, that's what you said. We're not going to go back and forth. I don't this want to either. Right. Okay. So here's the thing: you have no other business other than being in the building. So if I decide to remove you from the building, then what? Well, if you physically put your hands on me and remove me from the building, mm -hmm. that would be a crime. It would be crime. Show me what crime, please. Well, you cannot put your hands no, no, on no. people that Show aren't. Show me what crime, please. Yeah, that would be the crime of assault. Yeah, and assault. that would be we assault. Remove you from the building. That would be assault. Out from the building, we have a right to say you can leave our building. No, right? you cannot no. assault people no, no, no. that haven't Do broken we have the rules. Right say you can move our building. Do we have the right to say you can leave our no, building? No, because this is a public building. Well, is it closed to the public right now? State. I'm sorry. I like you. If you're taking. Yeah, I'll take whatever. Okay. Sure. All right. okay. What do you got up there that says what? So the Bridge Clinic. Where's it? I'm sorry. It's posted inside the lobby. Oh, you can go inside, well, the, the, lobby. inside the lobby where I where, I, where I'm not. <laughs> no, I said no loitering. Yeah, I'm not loitering. I have well, a per loitering no is loitering is when you don't have a purpose. Have right, it. loitering is when you don't have a purpose. You're just standing around not no doing business. anything. Right. No, no, no. I'm, I'm told you, I'm engaging in a constitutionally protected activity of freedom of press. I'm a journalist working on a story. I'm, your credentials for the journalist? Oh, I ha I'm sure I could produce no, 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 some no, credentials I'm for you. Credentials right now, sir. Yeah, no, I don't have no, to give them so, to you, though. So, no, you do. I don't. You, you ask me for credentials. Can you, stay, can you just take a step well, back, no, please? I'm, I'm in my building. I'm asking you well, you're for in your our credentials, building. but I'm asking you for your credentials. I know. I'm, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to okay, de-escalate. take a step back. I'm asking for your credentials. Hey, sir, how are you? Where's your credentials, sir? Sir, can I see your credentials? Your credentials is what? As, a, as an officer, this is my credentials. Okay. Okay, so where's so your So you're an officer with the Department of Corrections. Where's your credentials, sir? Sir, I don't show credentials unless I am, I am I'm forced to. You said to. you're a publicist. You said I am. No, I'm a journalist, right. What well, journalist? Can I see your credentials as a journalist, please? No, you can't. I can't? No, sir, hmm. you cannot. Okay. You cannot see my You cannot see my credentials. You cannot see, you know, I, I don't need credentials, and... You can't see my license. I'm not going to give you my ID. That's I haven't okay. broken any laws. It's okay. Again, if you look at the sign right next to me, authorized visitors only. Right. Well, I'm currently not authorized to be in here because you have no business with any officer. Well, I do. I just told you I'm doing a FOIA request and I'm working on a story here on the Department of Corrections. What do you guys have to hide in a public lobby? No, but, but my question lobby. is that you get the proper information and credentials to do this. Did you contact the proper authorities in our building for the state to do this in the state building? No, because I don't. I would if I needed to, but I don't but need you just to. Said you're doing that, so we're asking the same thing says here. You're not once again authorized to be in the building. Well, I am. You no. don't make that. You can't make that determination. We just made the determinations right here. It seems like you want to follow policies that apply that you want. I don't to want to follow any policy. Okay, but you're saying what you want. To I don't need to. I follow the law, sir. And what is the law? That is not the law. That is our building that we're responsible for, for our building. No, that's not the law, sir. But it's our building. You can make a sign that says no but it's our black building. people allowed in a building, no white so you're people being allowed in a building. Is that what you're saying? No, I said you, you could. Said you said about being black people. You're being I, racist. That's I'm what saying, you're saying I said black and white no, people. No, no, no. You didn't say white. You I said, said black. black. You, if you let me finish, racist, but you're being racist, if you let me. Sir, at no, this I'm point, not. You're being racist, I am so not. I would like you to leave the building. I, I'm not being racist at all, sir. I'm giving you an example that if you had a sign that said. That's a very poor example. Why? It doesn't matter. It, was, it does matter. It does. Once again, you're applying things that you want to apply, but you don't know how If you had a people. sign that said, no yellow people, no white people, no black people, no whatever sir, kind sir, of people here. You're now cleaning up your actions. I no, I'm not. You're, you're playing with words. <laughs> I really do appreciate that. You, no, you I'm not. Words. You're really a good wordsmith. But um, see, I see if, how you're if doing If you, you interrupted me before no, I could finish. You, sir, you said, you're being racist. No, because you were. But you're I'm playing a race that. card. Sir, I don't know why. Are. Sir, but you are. So I have rights, too, which you did. Of you course. You defended my rights. You stepped I, over my rights. No, you I did. didn't. Yes, you did, sir. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. uh, not at all. Yes, you did. You're being you very are. disingenuous. Sir, you are. No. Because we're trying to tell you to remove. I'm trying to give you an example of why so that policies. Was, that was a very poor example. No, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's sir, a perfectly so, aligned example. So what I would like you to do at this point, we're going back with words, and we do not feel comfortable with you in our building. We're asking you to leave the building. Right, and I have business to conduct here. I told you what that. What business do you have to conduct? An open records request for the Department of Corrections and is part of my story. That, fill it. How do you go about doing that? Why don't that, you sir? tell me since I'm here? No, 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 sir. You must know more than I do. So how do you go about doing that, please? In our you government? go to the agency where you want to collect the public information and, and you request it. down in Dover that has all the records. Right. So you're, you're in the wrong building well, you to could, get the information. You could submit the records form anywhere. Sir, no. You have to send a request, a form to do so. So until you have that form of request, you do not belong here. Of so course I do. I can write the request. Then write the request. Right. And go to Dover and get that, and they'll provide all the information. So in this building, you are in the wrong building to do that. No, so sir, I'm not. not sir, I'm right where I knew where sir, I was going when I walked in the door. Sir, you did not. You went to a building. 
If you want the records, our records are held down in Dover. So any request that goes through that must go through Dover, sir. Did you right. know that? Well, it could, it could go to any agency, no, 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 sir. No, no. The agency I'm very familiar Dover, with the Open Records But the agency is in Dover Act, that holds the records, sir. But, you so could, you're but they the could agency. forward it. It's, listen, sir, that's not how it works. Request. Did you send a request? Did sir, you send a request? You put request in writing, sir. Did you send a request? Sir, relax and de-escalate. Did you send a request? Sir, de-escalate, please. Sir, did you send a request? Hi, ma'am. How are you? Nice to meet you. Who are you, ma'am? Uh, my name is Laurie, but you can't be in here with the phone. So why would I? Right why wouldn't I be able to be out here with the, in no here with a phone? This, there's no cell phones in this building. You need to be out there. So there's people that come in here that don't get checked for phones. I'm, how many they people are in there? For phones. How would you know? How? Because I just saw a bunch of people walk in and you they didn't have, check them for phones, ma'am. And I'm sure the that they. And they get checked for phones. I've seen people walk in this door, ma'am, without you're, being you're, checked you're, for phones. There's no more arguments. You I'm not. Go, I don't want to argue. You can call the police, ma'am. They're going to educate you on public photography no. and our constitutional no. rights, ma'am. Go ahead, do what you need to do. Again, you're making things up. Now phones aren't allowed in this building. Sir, we have a metal it's, detector that, that collects all the phones. We go back there and you go through. Sir, when multiple go people through, have walked through this when, door. And they go through the metal detector over there, sir. Okay. That means that means wherever they go through the metal detector. That's where you don't you're allow making, phones, you're sir. Up our rules no, for our <laughs> sir, it's not your business. This is the business. people's business. That's no, what you're not sir, understanding. You're not understanding. But I appreciate this, sir. This is really good banter. I love it. So we're going to continue doing this. I, I, it's okay. I, I mean, it, it's you okay. can do whatever you'd like, sir. sir. You can do whatever you'd like. Sir, I can see you, you like to do the things your way. I appreciate. I it. like to do the things lawfully, sir. You do not. I like to. I like again, to exercise my rights peacefully, sir. I'm not raising my voice. I'm not. I haven't done anything sir, wrong to you. I've been. Request, uh, and I told you the proper way to get a request, which you refuse to do. Sir. Right, and and I'm which here also to, do, to document the public building, which sir. Which you refuse to do, sir. I appreciate right, that. I'm also here so to. You're, do not, you're not following any type of rule or any type of guidelines. Only the ones you want to set. For no, I follow the I law. The, the law, law, sir. Is, you just said the law, and I gave you the example of where you had to go get the request. Right, no, the but I, I just you told you I am that. taking pictures in public. I'm working on a story on the Department of Corrections. And what's your story, sir? I've received many tips that the Department of Corrections has tyrant officers just like you who treat that. people in a way that you're treating me. I, I could only I could you, only you, imagine you, 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 how you, if you're treating a member of the public and a journalist like this this way, I could only imagine how you would treat an inmate or someone on parole or probation. You're making assumptions, sir. I, I'm saying that's why I said I can only imagine you how you would treat them. But here's the thing. You can always look up my name. You can ask any offender who knows me. So your assumption is totally wrong. So you I wouldn't know that until I conduct my investigation, sir. You can create the narrative the way you I will conduct my investigation into you and I will figure that out. And if it is true that you are... But that you, you are cordial with people, but you your actions here don't display that today, sir. It doesn't have to display because your actions display this way. Excuse me? Sir, there's nothing in my pocket. Is, I don't know what's in your pocket. Okay. There's, there's nothing, there's no, there's, there's nothing, there's no weapons in my pocket. You just saw. I just showed you. No, I don't know what's in the bottom of it. it could um, be a sir, you're, you're being a tyrant. No, I am not being a tyrant. You are being a tyrant. All you have no right to... Well, you have no a subject to search over there where it's no. subject to search. Or in this building. You are in this building, you are subject to search. But where does it say I'm that? Asking you to take your hand out of your pocket. Sir, I just showed you there's sir. nothing in my sir, pocket right there, other than a cell phone. It's a cell phone. A you're not you shouldn't be scared. You both you, you guys are armed. Why are you scared for? Sir, scared. You are scared. You tell I can't put my hand in my pocket because you're scared. I'm showing you what the sign says. Right. You asked that. Okay. okay. So we showed you what the sign says. Right. I'm not in a restricted area. This is a publicly accessible area. area. Nothing says restricted. I know that. It says any person or vehicle on the property subject to search. This, this, okay. So, yeah. so violate my rights and search me then. If you think that sign makes you, makes you uh, have the authority to violate my rights, my Fourth Amendment right of unreasonable searches and seizures, search this is me. Not unreasonable. It is unreasonable because there's nothing you can see. There's nothing You're on not me. I don't. What, what about my ID would make me make you feel safe? You're scared, obviously. So what about my ID or credentials would make you feel safe? You, I mean, you're acting scared by saying, "Get your hands out of your pocket." That's acting scared, That's sir. Actually being I'm not scared. You guys have weapons. I'm not scared. What do I be? Scared? What would I be scared for? You guys have weapons. I don't. Sir, all I have is a camera. The That's great, all I have. The great thing about this whole thing is you are creating a narrative, which I like. You're creating a narrative to fit your. We can step away from their window. Because that, that's something totally different. So you step away from their conducting business of their way. I mean, if somebody comes up, I'll move out of the once way. Once again, I asked you something polite. And, you're going to tell me and I, did I not just move out of the way? No, but you're telling me what you're going to do. If somebody comes up, I'll move out of their way. But I'm asking L you now out of the way. 
No, but they're not in the. I'm not in anybody's way. Again, you're just you're just trying to feed me directives because that's what you're used to doing. You're used to people following your directives without question. Are you finished speaking? They're used to following your directives without question. No, I'm not finished speaking, sir. You're used to people following your direction without question and without because if not, you will violate the parole. You will do this. You'll do that. I am I am free to stand where I want, sir. I'm not blocking anybody. If somebody comes up to the window. I know how to move out of people's way, sir. You don't need to tell me to do that. I am finished, sir. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. But it has nothing about directive. It's having a conversation asking someone to give you your direction. You can move a little further back. We can move this way. I just don't want you to be in front of their window. Sure. When I, when I asked you to step back from me, you said, this is my building. I'm not going to step right. away from and you. And I didn't move back, did I? You didn't. I moved away because I was going to de-escalate the situation. Away from there. But either way, I'm asking you to either move away from their window. Sir, I'm not blocking anybody. As you can see, there's no one else in here. I'm not, and if somebody came up, I'm an adult. I know how to move out of people's way, sir. It has nothing to do about being an adult. It's simply that it seems like you have a problem with even following or listening to people or even making some But why some would I need to listen to you, sir? Or making some amends. But why would I need or, to listen? What authority do you have over amends. me that I need to listen? About, or make some amends. Amends? Or, amen. amen. Do you know or, what amends means? Okay. Amends means that you are making amends for something you did wrong. I haven't did anything wrong. All right. In your mind. In, in in anybody's mind, what if I if I've broken the law, you should arrest me. You're loitering. I'm not loitering. Loitering is when you have no purpose. You have no purpose. I do have a purpose here. I've explained that to you multiple times. Just because you don't like my purpose, that's it's different. Purpose. You might not like the purpose it's not I'm here for. For this building. That might be your prerogative. On this is not your building. You don't own it. You don't command the building. I didn't say it was my building. I said this building. Right. As you just said, this is a whole different agency here that's inside of this building. So obviously you're not the end-all be-all for inside this building, correct? You're not even the only agency in this building. So how can you just make the rules and say, you have no business here? You could say that to anybody. If I had a Fox 35 news jacket on and, and a big camera crew with me, you wouldn't say that. You'd be like, oh, no, you know, we're not doing anything wrong I here. Think would be a little more respectful. We asked them to kind of move a different way. I think they would still try to they work with show credentials. Right. Oh, they would show credentials, right. They probably would because that's their policy. My policy in my company is I don't show credentials or my identification. I, I don't need to explain to you what my company is, so you you will know what my company. I, I no, I'm exercising my right. You are you said you are you identified yourself to me as law enforcement. I have a Fifth Amendment right to remain silent and not give you any information. That is my right. Why is it that exercising rights becomes a problem, sir? I'm exercising the right as well, You're, and you refuse to do it. That's fine. That's fine. What right are you exercising, sir? Hey, how are you? Is that a personal or work phone, sir? Oh, I just wanted to know so I can request the footage. Not any footage. Thank you. It's he's recording something Doesn't that. You're recording something. I, yeah, I'm not a government official. Doesn't matter. I'm not a government Doesn't official. Matter. You're creating public record by recording with a cell phone. Some no, I'm not. I'm not a government official, That's sir. <laughs> he is a government. He can record. Is anybody stopping him from recording? No, but he is a government official. Yeah. He's a public servant. That means yeah. while he's recording, while he's on duty receiving taxpayer money, he's creating a public record. And if you if you de if you destroy that record, that would be destroying public records. Okay. He's on lunch. He's off duty. How do you know that? So he's just recording for his own benefit. That's so great. Benefit, like he's exercising his, his First Amendment exercise. rights. Exactly. Fantastic. Like I love it. Are. Great. I Thank love you. it. Fine. Fine. It doesn't matter. I know it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Matter. Why do law enforcement officers get so scared when people have their hands in their pockets? Like, do you think everybody's out to hurt you? Is that what it is? Because you're the one that, that. Do you think everybody's trying to hurt you, officer? No, you don't have to comment that. Let the conversation. I mean, he said, take your hands out of your pockets. Why? A lot of officers I see say that. Why? Why can't a free man or woman have their hands in their pockets? I mean, you've been talking more than me. No, I think your perception is a little off here, but that's okay. All right. All right. I noticed the people coming in and out have not given you any kind of permission for you to post any of this video. Oh, I don't need their permission. Yes, you do. I don't. You guys are just, you guys, all you're doing 
all you're doing right now is that is just demonstrating to the people yeah, we don't know you. you're, that you that you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, yes, I, you're demonstrating. all of us don't know what we're talking about. You're demonstrating to the people who are going to watch the video it's okay. that you don't it's know what you're talking about. It's okay. There is no expectation it's of privacy okay. in public. It's okay. That is the same type it's of okay. logic it's that allows okay. you to have cameras in public areas. It's Did okay. you ask me for my permission to record it's me? Okay. No. It's okay. All right. Excuse me, sir. I know. I'm, I'm okay. You're okay. Are you I know. Receptions? You're just. Uh, <coughs> you're just uh, I'm asking. You're just walking in. I know. Front but, of you're, me. but you're not going to go any further near my officer. So I'm making sure you stay pretty far away from my officer. I know. All. Just it could be I considered, and you know, it could be. But I'm asking you to stay close. Disorderly to conduct. conduct. You don't need to be in this conversation, in sir. It's okay. A little close. I understand, sir. It's okay. I'm gonna try walking away from you. I understand, but you're not able to go into the lobby. But it's you're okay. It's a secure lobby. Why would I go in? No, it doesn't matter, sir. Just making sure everything's okay. Everything's fine. I understand. But you're not going to be in these conversations. There's no need for you to be there. It's something that has nothing to do with you. I think he's getting educated. Well, I think that's what's is. going on. But right now, you don't need to be close to him. That's all. But you could be close to me. Because you're getting close to my officer. You made a move to my officer. Oh, okay. All right. It's like my shadow. I appreciate that. Your that racist connotation again. Call me a shadow. Appreciate Excuse it. me? You call me a shadow. I appreciate it. So you're saying because you are following me around, I called you my no, shadow, that's racist? I think you're making references you're one to of my those people. Skin. You're one of those you're people of that those just people, always I just want to bring making, race into it and, and want am, to. Sir, maybe I am, but you made a comment. You think you're again, a victim your of your race, time. color. Listen, I appreciate it, sir. Uh, I'm a minority you. too, but sir, I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim. It doesn't matter. You're not a victim either. You don't know that, sir. You're not a victim. Story. You're my shadow because you're following me around. Sure. I don't you can make it about race you if you want. Never made a second time about my color of my skin. Never made, it, never made any comment about the color sure, of your skin. It doesn't matter. Tyrants, you, tyrants come in all shapes, you, colors, yes. and you're sizes. Very tired because once again, you have no sensitivity to diversity, to my plight, my feeling. Did you take, the, okay. did you take sensitivity training? Sir, sir. Is that why you're this acting like this? Has been it because once again, it's just well, like you can end the conversation. I could. Go ahead, you can, but I, you're not going to stop me from speaking. Thank you, sir. That's the yeah, I like it too. <laughs> Absolutely you, ridiculous. I know, sir. I ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I know, law enforcement should just call you and said, hey, he's engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. Get back to work. Mm -hmm. Get back to what the taxpayers are paying you to do. Mm -hmm. Don't follow him around like a shadow. That's a third. I appreciate that, sir. That has nothing to do <laughs> Oh, uh, you're a victim. You're a victim, huh? You're treating the victim very poorly. You're a victim. Sensitivity training and all that. I appreciate that. That's the problem. I'm not going to answer any more questions until law enforcement gets here. You made your intent pretty clear in the last... 45 minutes. Law enforcement has arrived. Looks like the Delaware State Police. Let's hope they're educated on our constitutional rights, right? We're going to find out. And then they can educate you guys. You guys can go back to work. I can move on with my day. Everybody's happy. You lived on your day long in here. Uh, no, no, I can't. I can't. I'm not, I'm not keeping you. I'm oh, I know. I his know. His intent is to try to educate people. That's I, his intent. Yeah. There you go. But you could have done it a whole different way. But I appreciate that, though. There's a bright way to do those things if you wanted to. You could have started a seminar, and you could have sat down. I do police officer trainings at police departments. Well, I do that too. I, 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 I go across the country and train police in, in their precincts. Hey. I'll send you the video. Hello. Hey, hey sir, how are you? Doing well, 
you, sir? I'm doing well. You mind if I get your name in bathtub, sir? Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Go Nice to meet you, sir. So what can we do today? What are we doing? Let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm an independent journalist. My name is Sean. Thanks. I'm just working on a story here on the Department of um, Corrections here. Okay. And uh, just staying in the publicly accessible areas, I'm not going to any restricted areas, any enclosed okay. areas. All right. Just getting some pictures, some B-roll footage, and that's it. Okay, sounds good to me. Can you just wait right here for a second while I talk to these gentlemen here? Oh, sure. Before. You can go ahead and talk to them. That's fine. Right. I'm go ahead. I'm going to talk to you over here, all right? Hi, sir. How are you? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Do you mind if I get your name and badge number? Uh, Trooper Leda, 2118. Thank you, Trooper. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So what's going on? Oh, nothing. Oh, yeah. No, I'll repeat myself. Not a problem. No, I'm just, uh, my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the publicly accessible areas here for my story I'm working on in the Department of Corrections. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's it? That's it. All right. Nothing, <laughs> nothing nefarious going on here. Not going into restricted areas. So what just, did they, what did they say? They said that, they said that I'm not allowed to take pictures in public yeah. and that they were going to physically remove me from the building. And I told them that I'm engaged in a con freedom of press, constitutional protected activity, yeah, yeah, filming yeah, yeah. law enforcement. Mm -hmm. And uh, they called you guys, so we've been waiting for you to show up. That's okay. all. That's it. And we're just going to see what happens next, I guess. All right. Well, we're going to go to the spotlight. Are there people going to go to the Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. This is the department in general. Just, you know, the different services. I've received some tips from people about the department so I'm just investigating in general just nothing I can't get too specific with you only because the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the story's not published yet that's all gotcha. right all right so can I just talk to you outside see what's going on yeah I mean we can talk right here sir that's fine all right so what business do you have here like I said, I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity I'm just yeah. taking some getting some b-roll footage in the publicly accessible areas okay. here um, that's my business right. here, sir. Do you have all the footage that you need? Oh, no, not yet, no. Okay, so what else do you need? I need some more B-roll footage. Of, there's a lot of different public notices signs here that right. I'm investigating, and, okay. and, and plus I just have the right to be in public. There is no right. law against being so in public and recording. The, here's the issue we have here. So this is parole and probation. Right. So we have people who are reporting to their POs here, you know, dealing with sensitive information, you know, stuff that's not privy to the public. And up front, right, that would is, that would be why it's behind is, the window. And this is still a correctional facility. So yeah, you are technically in a common area, but this for itself is a private property. So I understand you're a journalist trying to do some work. Great. But outside of that scope, you really can't be out here doing what you're doing now, unless you actually have you're doing your business. So. Right. Do you mind if I speak to a supervisor? Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll get to there right right now. So obviously I'm trying to get as much information as I can right sure, now from no you problem. so I can relate to my supervisor who will come here. Can you, can you start right for a second? And he was gonna, he's going to explain to you the same thing I'm explaining to you. I hope yeah. not because so, this is a public area. This uh, Being a correctional a, facility it's doesn't... It's a common area. It's not right. a public area. Up front, this is state property. So unless you have official well, state business property, here, public property, so it's the same you, thing. Unless you have official business here, you, you do what you do what you like here. You can submit whatever paperwork you, you like for your investigative, you know, journalism. Cool, great. But speaking to the two gentlemen here, you, you haven't provided any sort of credentials or paperwork for you to obtain that information. Right. I don't. I don't need to provide credentials to anybody. I don't need to provide my ID. This is the United States of America. Right. We are free to enter into Correct. publicly accessible areas again, and record law enforcement. Right now, it's a, it's a First Amendment protected yeah. activity, sir. So right now you're trespassing onto state government property. I'm not. If because you read the trespass statute, that is not what the right. trespass statute uh, okay. says. Okay, but there's a sign out front that says. It doesn't say no trespassing. Property. No trespassing, no loitering. If you see right there. This is not loitering. Loitering, the definition of loitering is standing around not doing anything. Right. I am in, I'm not doing, I'm doing something. But again, like I said, this is probably There's been other probation. people that have come inside of this building. They're just, they're mad because I have a camera and right. that's, that's why they're upset. But yeah. there's been other people that have come inside of this building and just stood right there for 30 minutes and right. they didn't say, hey, what are you doing inside of this building? Again, and that's what it comes to when it goes to court. If this goes to court, if it needs to go that route, I've, I've unfortunately been arrested nine times and mm -hmm. I've had all charges dismissed because everything I do is within right. the law. Um, I've. I'm in the Second Circuit right now, uh, filing federal lawsuits. So okay. I just want to make it clear: I do trainings with law enforcement right. officers about cool. First Amendment so training you, across so the you country. So understand our position here that these two gentlemen here are, have gone out of the way to try to accommodate you as best as they can. Well, you don't yeah. know that because you weren't here. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Have you gotten everything you needed? No, I, I'm, I'm not finished with my business here, sir. All so. right. So 
let's do this. Go ahead and finish your business here and you're, you're, you're going to have to leave. Because right now you're not conducting any sort of business that's appropriate to this facility. Are you checking in with a probation officer? Are no, I'm not on probation, probation or parole. Or no. on parole, exactly. So no, but this is not just a probation officer. This is, right. this is not just a probation office. You have the administrative. Right. It's, that, is not, that is not a law, sir. And there is more offices in here besides. It is not a law, but here's the thing. There is official business being conducted here. You have people coming in who probably don't want to be seen on a video reporting to their That doesn't matter. There's no reasonable. You're recording people right now. You're recording right now, sir. So again, this you don't get their I'm, permission. I'm, I'm conducting business with you at this point. Right, and the I'm person, conducting person, constitutional. Example, that person who's sitting over there. Their I don't, I don't think we're, it. sir. I don't think we're going to agree. Saying, but I'm, I'm letting you know, Right, no, I don't think we're going to agree. I would just like to speak to a supervisor, okay. and if the supervisor, right. if the supervisor says, because if the supervisor says that I'm not authorized to be here and he'll arrest me, then that right. gives me what's okay. called. That's. So let, me call. let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. All right, and that's fine. And then I will have standing in federal court to to handle in federal court, like I've done in the past. That's fine. Yeah, and we can all move on. That's no, that's fine. Take, no, it's fine. You have no official business I do have official business here, sir. All right, so go ahead and go and finish your official business here. Right now, you have no business being here because, again, this is private property. It's, it's not private probation, property. <laughs> and you're not an authorized visitor checking in with probation. It is not a private. So and there is not. this is so not just a probation building. So this is not just a probation yeah. building, sir. Yeah. This is not just. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. They are here with us. And they're, they, clothes. and they're currently right. closed, so, so therefore we okay. control the building. Yeah, right. So what you're doing well, you don't. Is you don't. We but do. at the end of the day, we and do. you'll see in the federal laws. Okay, that's we fine. Do. And so you can show I'll wait. We're going back and forth. All, All right, great. Yeah, there's people All right, here thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. There they're victims. People, okay, yeah, there are like you, are right? Victims. Like you. There are people here who are victims. People here. Like you, right? Like you. Also, like you. At this point, who else is in the lobby at this point? So you're the only victim here. Apparently, according to you, because of the color of because of the color of your skin. Uh, two people waiting, I believe. There's two. Yeah. Okay, so I have the authority at this point to. They're unwilling. We're, we're closing the building. The building is closed. Building now is closed. You're closing the building. I'm closing the building. Go okay, ahead. that's fine. You okay, can close you the can building. leave now. You okay. can leave now. Relax, sir. No, I'm sir, leaving. leave. If it's closed, it's closed. So officially. no one else is going to come in here, sir. It's closed. I just want to make sure the it's building closed. is closed. It's closed officially right now. You you have the authority to close the I building. I have the authority to okay. close the building. That's not a problem. The building That's is fine. closed officially. So if anybody else comes in here, I'm going to come. Look, this guy's coming in here right now. It's not closed. He's coming in. Closed. We're closed. We're closed. Thank you for taking care of that. <laughs> you can officially leave now. All right. All right if you, I, hey, listen, listen. I appreciate if you, it. If, there's, if, nothing if you're closed, there's nothing else to discuss. Please I'll please finish my state. I'll save my state. Can you please leave our building now? If you're closed, you leave that's fine. Can you please leave our building? Can you please leave our building? I'll be back. Don't worry. Building. I'll be back when you're open. I appreciate it. Thank you. When we open up, we'll see you again. But right now, the building's closed. Please leave our building. Okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. If it's closed, it's closed. How you guys doing? Closed trooper. <laughs> I think our uh, supervisor is making his way here. I don't know when he's going to be here, so right. it's up to you. Right, I got it. I mean, they're closed, they're closed. I don't stay in buildings after they're closed. Let's see if they have an official hours here. So today is Monday. So they're not closed for another 10 minutes. So they closed early just for a camera. There's 10 minutes. We're gonna have to just come back here, I guess. Hey, Sean, if, yes, sir. If, uh, you're gonna come back, which is you know, fine in my book. How long do you think it would take for your, you know, your Oh, not long, video? not long. As long as, listen, as long as, my, my biggest issue and why I'm, I'm still here, I would have, I probably would have left by now, yeah. is that it's not about just conducting the business. I, I just wanted to get like some pictures of all those signs in there, but I didn't have a chance because they said that recording is prohibited. So my biggest thing is, is education. Like I said, I go around to police departments. I've been invited to police departments across the country to conduct education on the First Amendment. It's to spread awareness and to make sure that public servants recognize our rights and that law enforcement uphold their oath to the United States Constitution. So as long as I am permitted to film and there's no issue with the filming part, right. I'm not trying to stand in here for eight hours straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. 
as long as the filming part is fine you know like i said i don't stay in a building after it's closed if it's closed it's closed it's closed to the public that means it's closed to everybody but if you're just keeping me out because no, i have a camera I understand, right I, I'm, I'm, uh, if you're just keeping me out because you have I'm a camera you. that's a little bit you know that's you know now you're tailoring it to hey you know you can't come in and promote transparency and ask questions and submit FOIA requests you know open records requests and yeah. that that's a problem to me because now it's the, the government agency is not being transparent to the people I hear you, that's it Right, yeah, right, right, right. Hey, they, if they would have came out and said, out. right, it, they, he said, I, I'm going to throw you, he said, I'm going to throw you out. And I said, well, if you put your hands on me, that's assault. You can't just grab me. You know, so, you know, if he would have said, hey, sir, hey, you're a journalist. Your name's Sean. My name is Dan. You know, can I help you with anything? You know, I'll, I'll show you the signs. If you have any questions, you know, I can get you the public relations. There's a different way of handling it, that, that de-escalation that you guys are supposed to learn that, you know, makes everything go easier. So there's the tyrant who plays the victim. Wants to be a victim for the color of his skin. Absolutely disgusting. I really hate people like that, that use, that just want to victimize themselves and just make it seem like every, the world's against them. Just because I said, I called him my shadow because he's following me. Apparently that makes me a racist. By giving him an example about racist signage that makes me a racist <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous i mean we were there waiting for law enforcement for a while in silence <laughs> in absolute silence so i mean by the time they said they're closed hey if they close early we've seen it happen at united states post offices we've seen it happen you know at different facilities, they close early. If they're closed to the public, they're closed to the public. It's no longer a publicly accessible area. But these people could have handled it. You know, these officers inside, the parole officers, could have handled the situation a lot better, a lot differently. It didn't need to go this way. This state trooper has been very professional with me. The other state trooper, not so much. He's not really in agreement. He didn't threaten to arrest us, so we don't have our standing in court yet. So he didn't threaten to arrest us, they just closed the building down, which is why we're gonna do a revisit here, but we're gonna do a revisit here, not right away. We'll give it some time to sink in, let them learn the law, let them get educated. I gotta make my way down the eastern, the east coast, excuse me, and uh, you know, expose some more tyranny. State troopers do not have the best reputation in Delaware. The officer I was speaking to seemed cordial. He agreed. You get catch more with honey than you do with vinegar. You know, he was very cordial with me. Again, we're not breaking any laws here. He didn't threaten. No one threatened to arrest me. They just closed the building down. And in about six more minutes, it would have been officially closed anyway. We would have had to leave. It would have been closed to the public. But did you see, ladies and gentlemen, all the different attitudes we faced? You know, take your hands out of your pockets. The typical officer safety line, you know, just I'm going to put my hands on you, throw you out, you know, all these different things, calling me a racist. This video, very tiring. I've been here for, you know, two hours now, maybe more than that. And it's, uh, I'm pretty exhausted from dealing with these uneducated officers here who don't know of our constitutional rights. Public entrance, not private, public entrance. So... You know, it's just ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So we'll make a revisit here. I don't think I want to wait for the supervisor because the supervisor, all he's going to do is, who knows what he's going to do, but I'm already outside. So there's really nothing to address anymore. I'm outside of the, I'm outside of the, uh, the building here. They, the building is closed. So nothing more really to do. Let me know this one was crazy absolutely insane make sure you hit that like button and share this video as always stay safe god bless i'll see you in the next video long island audit peace